A body determined by its own boundary must be either hard or soft, for it either yields or does not. It must also be concrete, or it could not be so determined. So since everything that is determined and solid is either hard or soft, and these qualities are due to concretion, all composite and determined bodies must involve concretion. Concretion, therefore, must be discussed. Now there are two causes besides matter, the agent and the quality brought about, the agent being the efficient cause, the quality the formal cause. Hence, concretion and disaggregation, drying and moistening, must have these two causes. But since concretion is a form of drying, let us speak of the latter first. As we have explained, the agent operates by means of two qualities, and the patient is acted on in virtue of two qualities. Action takes place by means of heat or cold, and the quality is produced either by the presence or by the absence of heat or cold. But that which is acted upon is moist or dry or a compound of both. Water is the element characterized by the moist, earth that categorized by the dry, for these among the elements that admit the qualities moist and dry are passive. Therefore cold, too, being found in water and earth, both of which we recognize to be cold, must be reckoned rather as a passive quality. It is active only as contributing to destruction or incidentally in the manner described before. For cold is sometimes actually said to burn and to warm, but not in the same way as heat does, but by collecting and concentrating heat. The subjects of drying are water and the various watery fluids and those bodies which contain water either foreign or connatural. By foreign I mean like the water in wool, by connatural like that in milk. The watery fluids are wine, urine, whey, and in general those fluids which have no sediment are only a little, except where this absence of sediment is due to viscosity. For in some cases, in oil and pitch for instance, it is the viscosity which prevents any sediment from appearing. It is always a process of heating or cooling that dries things, but the agent in both cases is, is heat, either internal or external. For even when things are dried by cooling, like a garment, where the moisture exists separately, it is the internal heat that dries them. It carries off the moisture in the shape of vapor, if there is not too much of it, being itself driven out by the surrounding cold. So everything is dried, as we have said, by a process either of heating or cooling, but the agent is always heat, either internal or external, carrying off the moisture in vapor. By external heat, I mean as where things are boiled. By internal, where the heat breathes out and takes away and uses up its moisture. So much for drying.